This is a demonstration of the Aero Marine Research Tunnel Boat and V-Boat Design Program version 8.6. I'm Jim Russell and I'm going to show how easy it is to use the Tunnel Boat Design Program to do a performance test of my V-Hull. I'm going to select the first design file on my list here and click Go to Input to display all of the details for my existing V-Hull design. There's an awful lot of data that I've already entered in for my base V-Hull design. We can sum it up by saying that it's an 18-foot V-Hull with no pad. The total rig weighs 1,800 pounds and is powered by a 250-horsepower Merck outboard. Now, if we click on the third tab for entering setup data, I'll show how to get the quick analysis of the performance of the base V-Hull with no pad. I'm going to click on the Auto123 button that automatically takes me through the three-step quick analysis of performance. All I have to do now is click on Calc Perform. And the program automatically gives me a report that shows me a lot of information, including the top speed for my base setup. You can see that the limiting velocity for my base V-Hull setup as it is now is 81.6 miles an hour. I'm going to click on Add VMAX, and that takes me to step two of the automatic performance process. So I just click on Calc Perform again, and that gets me the second and most detailed performance analysis report that gives us performance results through the full velocity range of 16 miles an hour up to 81.6 miles an hour. There's an enormous amount of information in this custom-made report, and we really don't have time to go through all of it in just this one video, but it does give some highlights of performance and warnings to consider, and gives a lot of details on trim angle, lifts and drags, a detailed analysis of dynamic stability and hump transition, even cockpit design drag, porpoising, and power efficiency. So now I'm going to click on details and go to the really detailed performance analysis screens. Here's where we see the details of over 50 performance measures throughout the entire velocity right from slow to the top speed. I want to show you how easy it is to do a comparison of two designs. So I'm going to go quickly to the graphic presentation of all the performance data. There's over 50 graphs of performance information that we can look at. What I'm going to do is save all of this information for our base design with no pad so that we can come back and compare it to the new design with a pad. So I'm just going to exit from the performance analysis screens and go back to the data input screen again. So this is a really easy change to make. All I'm going to do is go back to the section where we designed the pad and say yes to the pad selection. The program automatically adjusts the bottom design to account for the 11 inch pad that we've now added. That's all I have to do to change the design for my pad modification. Now I just have to push Calc Perform and do an analysis to compare the two designs. We get the same detailed performance analysis report again, except this time it's for the V-bottom with a pad. The part of the report that I want to highlight is where it compares the base design V-hull to the modified design with a pad added. What the report tells us is that the design modification with the pad is 4.8 miles per hour faster at top speed. So that's the answer we were looking for. There's lots more information in this report, but I'm going to click on details and go right to the performance analysis screens again. I'm going to go right to the graphs where it shows me a comparison of my base design to my modified design with a pad. And here's where I can see that the pad design is almost five miles an hour faster at top speed. The graphs now show a comparison of my base design in, with the green line to my modified design with a pad on the red line. For example, it shows me that my modified design with the pad in the red line is more susceptible to porpoising than my original V-Hull design in the green line. So that's all we're showing in this video. It took us about three minutes to show what the performance difference would be if we added a pad to our V-Hull design. Not all V-Hulls will benefit from a pad modification. The V-Boat Design Program version 8.6 will certainly show us what the performance differences would be.